How's it going guys? Aaron here from Impact KC Worship. Who says you need drive pedals when you have a Strat? Today we're going to be talking about why the Fender Stratocaster, in my opinion, is the most versatile guitar on the planet. Roll that intro. All right, let's be honest. We've all been there. We were sitting on the floor fiddling with all of our drive pedals laid out all over the carpet, cables everywhere, trying to decide what pedal works perfect for the particular part of whichever song. So I've been in that situation many times and I remember one time, I, for some reason, I, I ended up with no drive pedals for a weekend when I was supposed to play at my church. And I had to figure out how I was going to get a high gain and a clean tone for my guitar without any drives or a compressor. And I, I basically had to force myself with my Strat to achieve all those tones just on the guitar. So whether that was a pickup change or whether that it was rolling the tone off or rolling the volume up or down, I had to get everything from just my guitar. So I wanted to talk to you guys about today how you can do that without using any gain pedals. So I'm going to play some examples for you guys and I'm going to be playing my American Strat into a Kemper profiling amp. I'm going to be using the Dr. Z EZG50 amp rig. I'm going to put a link below. They offered all of their amps for $30 for the Kemper which is an amazing deal. Um, I've been really eating up all of those patches that they made. Um, for this example, again, it's going to be the Easy G50. I have everything literally set at 12 o'clock. I have the gain at 12, all the EQ at 12, I have the rig volume 12 o'clock. Everything is flat. I'm going to achieve all of the tones from these examples just for my guitar. Okay? So I am going to make a few effects changes. So you'll hear the delays come in and out. But again, no pedals no compressors, I'm not changing the preamp gain, all from the guitar. So for the first example, I'm gonna play just a standard classic rock groove, hook, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna be using the neck pickup. I'm gonna have the volume all the way up and I'm gonna have the tone almost all the way up. So I'm gonna be pushing the amp pretty much as hard as it'll go. It should sound super thick, all right? So let's check this out. So for this next example, I'm going to play a groove that would, you could consider pop, um, something like U2 or Walk the Moon, something like that where I'm going to have a very bright tone. So I'm going to be switched down to bridge pickup. I'm going to roll the tone up, so I'm going to be pretty bright. I'm going to roll the volume down a little bit so I don't want it to be as gainy. But again, it's going to be really high and sparkly sounding. I'm going to use a really high mix, a dotted eighth delay. So let's check this out. So for the third example, I'm going to make it really clean. Um, I'm going to go to a second position pickup, which is mixing these two pickups. I'm going to roll the volume down, probably like seven or so. I'm going to roll the tone all the way down to three or four. So this is going to be more of a, a thicker, mellow jazz tone, okay? So let's get a little bit of swing going and let's see how this sounds.
So for a fourth example, I'm going to be kind of playing what you would consider what I would use in a worship setting at my church. So this can be very general, either rhythm or single note, lead kind of stuff. I'm going to be right in the middle uh, for my pickup selection. I'm going to roll the volume down to about 9 or 8, so it's not all the way up. Um, and I'm then going to roll the gain or the tone down to about 8 or 9. So I'm not going to be super bright, but I'm still going to be hitting the front end of the amp a little bit to give some natural distortion. So obviously, there's a lot of good guitars out there. Um, again, my favorite is the Strat, obviously. Um, but I just want to encourage you, try not to rely so much on your drive pedals. Try to get more of your tones straight from your fingers and straight from the guitar. And then I promise you, it'll make you a better guitar player when you don't rely so much on your pedals. So again, whether it's a Strat or it's a Les Paul or whatever you're playing, Try experimenting with just rolling off tone knobs, rolling off volumes, switching those pickups, and see what tones you can get. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget, comment below on what your favorite guitar is and how you can implement not using so many drive pedals. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.